real quick video today. Today we're going to use a method that was suggested in a previous video. The video I did where I took apart a, a, a book, a paperback book, using the heat from a hot air dryer. Someone suggested I try an oven. Great idea. Let's try it on this crappy book that I really don't care about and see if it works. Okay, let's set this up. Bake. Way too hot. Let's bring it way down, way down. Taking less than 200 F. Maybe about, that's as low as it goes, so let's do that. Okay. Okay, the oven's warmed up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. That's something Celsius. Um, I'm gonna put this book on a cookie tray, but I'm gonna actually put it on a just a clean uh, kitchen towel on the cookie tray, um, just because I don't want too much heat getting directly into the book. If you ever touched a hot cookie tray, you know how quickly heat can transfer. This will insulate it a bit, so it's just getting all of the heat from the air, the 170 degree air, which will hopefully not burn the book. So let's put it in for a few minutes and see if it loses the glue. Your book timer is done. Okay, let's take this out. See how loose the glue is. How loose is the glue? How loose is the glue? Nice and warm, not too, too hot, hot to pick, pick up. up. Mm. Close, but not quite. I think it needs a little more time and maybe a little more heat. So I'm gonna put it back in at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we go. The books type two timer is done. Your books type two timer is done. Okay, let's see how this is working. Out. Definitely feeling a bit warmer. Let's see how loose the glue is. It's pretty good. It's not great. Still a little grippy on the glue. Let's try. Hmm. Just, just barely letting go. I'm going to try a little warmer. Let's try 225 for another 10 minutes. Let's try that. Have some lunch while I'm waiting. Salad. So good. Mmm. Mmm. Oil, balsamic vinaigrette, and Frank's hot sauce makes the salad into a savory, delicious masterpiece. Bonus tip. Mmm. Warm, 
toasty, toasty warm. Let's see how well this book can be pulled apart. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. There we go. Let's move quickly while the book's still warm. And if it starts to cool down and it stops becoming so easy, I will have happy put it back in for another couple minutes. But let's see how much of this horrible, stupid, feel-good book we can get ready for digitizing. Wow, this this is really nice. Really, really nice. This is this is better than the hair dryer. This, this is much better than the hair dryer. So in conclusion, wow, that works better than I ever thought it would. The book pulled apart very, very easily. I had to trim a little bit of the glue from the first and last page because they had that sort of extra layer of glue on the front and back cover. But look, the cover's still in perfect condition. I can scan it and have the spine showing. I can drop these pages into my page uh, feed scanner and get this scanned quickly, which I probably won't do because I don't care about this book at all. This is the method to use going forward. It won't work with a hardcover book that has sewn together signatures, as they're called in the industry. But for most of your books, all of your paperback and a lot of your hardcovers, this will work. Oven, about 225 Fahrenheit, about, what's that, 110 Celsius. And leave it in for 15 minutes. Wow. That's today's tip. I hope it helps.